Hello. I'm Susan Kostrava, executive editor of Wine Enthusiast Media. In his philosophy and approach, our 2011 Restaurateur of the Year, Michael Mina, represents what we at the magazine celebrate in the world of today's wine and food, approachability, education, and experimentation. Located in key U.S. markets like Miami, Detroit, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C., Mina's 20 restaurants showcase cutting-edge dining trends. These include creative, quality-driven wine lists, with the addition of a suite of Mina House wines made in collaboration with top French and California producers. Another standout, inventive tasting menus crafted by Mina in close collaboration with wine director Rajat Parr and his wine staff, such as an all-vegetarian menu and a Chinese New Year dim sum feast. Sophisticated yet fun, Mina's vision is to bring memorable experiences to diners and wine drinkers of all levels. People want the best. They want great product, they want creative, innovative food, but more and more people are gravitating towards simplicity and comfort. For us, our focus in producing upscale dining experiences is making sure that each and every single day we're better than the day before. Whether it's the execution of food in the kitchen, just improving a, a, a simple task like opening a bottle of wine. You can walk in in jeans and feel completely comfortable drinking and eating very innovative food in a really comfortable setting. One of the great pieces of our company has been having a wine director like Raj who who really gets it, but gets it in a very humble way. The philosophy of the, of the wine programs is to be very focused, not to force my own uh, likes and dislikes on, onto the list, but be as transparent of what the guests like. But that's our job, to make it more approachable and humble. Wine has taken off. Everybody is starting to understand it, understand what it does to your dining experience, understanding how the flavor of wine goes with food and how they balance each other. Raj has so much depth in his knowledge of both food and wine because we think the same way and I learn as much uh, from Michael as, as Michael says he learns from me. I love cooking a tasting menu. I love to cook, you know, nine courses or ten courses, but I get just as much satisfaction out of seeing somebody eat a complete entree, start to finish, without putting their fork down. That to me is harder to do, to keep somebody's interest through 25, 30 bites of a course. What's impressed me most about Michael is how he's always able to stay focused on what inspires him the most. He likes to share a lot of information, he likes to share his techniques, whether it's in the kitchen and learning uh, something about cooking. He has brought great food culture among the community, among community in all the cities we are in. I think he's, he's brought a, a feeling of uh, the love for food, for wine. The food and wine become an experience that they're supposed to be. And everybody knows that after a couple glasses of wine, everything looks a little better. <laughs> We are pleased to present Michael Mina with the award for the 2011 Wine Star Restaurateur of the Year. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. First of all, I would like to thank Adam and the Wine Enthusiast for nominating me for this very prestigious award. It's always a, you know, a big honor and, um, you know, to to be presented with any award is always an honor, but to be presented with something that acknowledges um, something much bigger than just you know creating a dish or being part of one restaurant, being part of something that I feel very proud of because it's a team of people. It's a team of people and it's my family and it's a group of people that stand for something that is really important to me, which is food and wine. And I think food and wine in this country, I think as we heard tonight, has come so far. And you know, my belief about food and wine is pretty simple. And life all go together. It's all about a word that you know you hear so much when you talk about food and wine, and that's balance. And I think balance in food, wine, in business, and in life all go together. A uh, great dish is something that is balanced. It's something that has acidity, sweetness, spice, and fat in it, and they all balance each other. Uh, great wine, as, as 
You heard before, I am blessed to work with one of the best wine uh, minds in the industry, Rajat Par, who taught me long ago that I had to learn how to cook based on how the wine tasted and not how I wanted to cook um, sometimes. And I had to learn to take some acid out of a dish and, and remove some sweetness because it did not work with the wine. And as a chef, learning humility sometimes is uh, not the easiest thing in the world. And, um, but the reality is, is when you tasted it together, you learned quickly that he was right. Um, and so I've been blessed to work with many great people, one of which is in the room who you saw on the video, Patrick Umel, who... <laughs> who has been the person that's created all the magic in the... If you've eaten in any of our restaurants, he's uh, the, been the man who's led that great service in all those restaurants and has made all of those great things possible. And I've had a great family and um, a great wife and children who have helped me and kept me balanced through all the great fun that is the restaurant business. And I'm very happy to be here and thank you very much for this award.